Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be unboxing, I guess, some Happy Mail. Uh, and if that's of interest to you, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, so I was watching 49 Dragonflies. I think that's her channel name. I'll take a look and I'll put it in the description box. And she was using a junk journal that she had purchased from a lovely woman in France. Her name is Celine, who has an Etsy shop. And the Etsy shop is called French Paper Creations. And I'll link her Etsy shop below. And so, of course, I immediately popped on there and she has such beautiful things. And so I ordered some and they just came in today. So open this up and so it looks like it's some um, stickers these are some washi stickers these are some die cuts I don't know if they're oh no they're stickers a cute little envelope pour avion washi sticker another sticker and then these are like postcard. I mean, they, they feel like heavy cardstock. Oh, it is a postcard. <laughs> and this here. And this here. Oh, that's awesome. And so I had ordered two junk journals and an ephemera thing, I think. I didn't look before I came on. And they came in these beautiful um, napkins. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. And she's collaged all of this. All of these are different pieces with some buttons. Oh, and it's got lots of tags with, with hanging thingies. What are these called? I don't know where my words are, <laughs> but it's got quite a bit of the tags right here in this front pocket. And it's actually, it's a very stiff cover. I don't know what it's made of, but it is beautifully made. And she's added some paper there. And oh, they're, they're double-sided. Yeah, because I don't know, she might have added some paper behind the tag book paper yeah my words are gone I'm, I'm just I'm a little too fascinated by all of the bits and bobs and then you've got these places here for journaling or adding some embellishments oh what pretty things and this, the pages are in French. I love this little thing right here. It looks like Sleeping Beauty. And is there... It's definitely two pages glued together. And I think it's just the page. I don't think there's any pockets or anything. Although there is a obviously a tuck spot in here. Oh, and some vellum mushrooms with some more bits and bobs. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. And there's some bits and bobs in here. Oh, that's really cute. And I love that the storybooks or that the story pages are in French. I think that's the aristocrats or the aristocats right there. And it's done with a sewn middle. Oh, and more flip spots there that are washy down. 
Oh, and another flip spot here. And what you could do is you could put some clear paper here, something like that, although I wouldn't use that. But then you could use that as a journaling spot. You could take all of the bits and bobs out, collage over this, paint over it. Um, but I just, I loved seeing the work that she's put into this. Oh, look. So that's clipped in, but this is glued on. So if I, if I take this off, then you can see that she's glued in fabric as well as this burlap and the buttons. And it does make a cute little spot there. And Oh, what is this? Oh, and there's a bunch of things in this little envelope here. Oh, look at these ladies. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah, they look like the ladies that you get if you are making clothes, the, the patterns. That's what they look like. Oh, they are elegant. Oh. So pretty. That's a nice way to make an envelope. And then this is another flip spot. Oh, <laughs> that's fancy. And then there. And then this is the end of the book with more bits and bobs there. Oh, and look at that. That is so pretty. I know I should be more descriptive, but honestly, I'm at a loss. I'm loving all of the bits and bobs that are in here. And the coloring is quite bright, and yet I'm still getting vintage feel. And I, I guess because it's the different colors, you've got this is definitely more cartoony. You've got this is more uh, 20s. You've got cartoons like that. You've got these against each other. But it just, I don't know, it works for me. It is, it is so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I actually just like just looking at it. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. And then this is the other book. Actually, I'll save that one. We'll do the ephemera pack first. And oh, so it looks like three of the same napkins with whatever that flower is, but in three different colorways. And so this is purple. And then this is more of the bits and bobs. I wonder if I can slide that off. Well, I'm going to cut it. And I can always tape that back together. Oh, and that paper is just <laughs> so pretty. You guys know I've been leaning towards this kind of paper. And okay, so it's got all of these things right here. And so it's different tags, library card, and more of the vellum. And it looks like the bits and bobs that go inside of her work. Uh, I looked before I started the video and she does have a few items on her shop. So definitely go and check her out. This, I think it's sort of like um, a paper doll thing. So it's two different dresses. Oh, tea. It makes me feel like I'm traveling and I've, I've never been anywhere. Well, no, that's not true. I've been lots of places, just not recently. <laughs> but I love all of that. Looks like tickets. And they're thin. Oh, and they're double-sided. Oh, I'm thinking about making a travel journal for all of the traveling I'm not doing. <laughs> and then a postcard. I like both sides of that. 
So that was in that front pocket. Oh, and I missed some. This is in German. Looks like a receipt. That's lovely. And even the paper. Oh, that paper is so pretty. And this actually makes a really nice ephemera pocket. And so on this side, she's got a belly band holding these things. Oh my goodness. I love all of this. Oh, and we have some, I, I want to say that's Russian typography, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love all of that. I kind of want to use this in my Happy Nietzsche this coming weekend. And then this is the last pocket. And we've got more of the vellum things. Some ticket things, a little calendar of something. Vellum botanicals. Ooh, those are pretty. But they're less on something transparent. Their background it definitely is pulls more white, but it's beautiful. And then more tickets, a Metro card. Yeah, I definitely am going to be doing a travel journal with all of these things. <laughs> Make it look like I'm traveling just because they're so pretty. And I liked the idea of picking up an ephemera pack like this because one, I didn't realize there was gonna be so much ephemera in the little uh, junk journal uh, that she made, but also it's a nice way to uh, stockpile on things because I don't really have, I mean, I've got tons of Happy Planner products, but by way of little bits and bobs like that, I don't really have any. So that's the ephemera pack that I have picked up from her. And then this is the other booklet. And this one definitely is more substantial. I can already feel it. And same napkin, but in a pink way. And it's so pretty. And I'll keep all of the twine. That's the word I was looking for. And so, let me get a ruler. This one measures four by six. So not a B6, maybe more of a passport size. But this one feels heavier. This feels like it's a book. This one, there's definitely some stiffness to it, but this one definitely feels more like a hardbound book than this one does. This just feels like really sturdy paper, really uh, glued well together. But then this one's also more of a signature, and this one is definitely more of a book bound with signatures. And it looks like there are one, two, three, four, five signatures in here. Oh, look at all that. And her attention to detail is amazing. All of the edges are inked. And the bits of paper with the different colors. Oh, Aventure. I like the tabs. Oh, and look at the paper. I think that might be either coffee dyed or tea stained. And even that, that's pretty. Is that what binders are like in France? Yeah, so these are all signatures that she has made. A little bob right there with a, a tuck spot. This paper definitely feels thicker than this one, but because of the coating, it does add some texture to it. 
Voyager Carlavi Escort Elamond Estimates, which means there is a feather in your book in blue paint spatter. Yeah, that's not what that means. <laughs> 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 I just made that up. Oh, okay. So it looks like the way that she's put this in here is she's glued fabric to the ends of the signature, which is this right here, which you can tell by the coating. It makes it look orange. And then she's glued it in to the spine here. It makes it super flexible. It makes it its own thing. It adds a decorative element and it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so there's some bits and bobs in here. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I've gone to France. I'm imagining that everywhere in France, there's cheese and wine and bits and bobs. That's, that's what France is about. That's, that's, I've made up my mind and that's what it's like. That's gorgeous right there. And there's another tag. Oh, oh so it's an envelope in an envelope. Which is adorable and purity. More of that. There is a scent to this. I want to say this is coffee. Maybe chicory. I mean, it's not unpleasant. It's not chemical or anything. Um, but there definitely is a scent. It kind of smells like cinnamon and chocolate or cinnamon and coffee. I could go for a cinnamon coffee right now. <laughs> um, another tuck spot. And this is the end of that signature. And this one here. Another tux, and that's actually quite clever. She uh, glued the tag to this, so you still have texture with the twine. It makes it a little bit bigger, and then you've got the little um, bits and bobs in here as well. I love the whole color of this. And this one definitely has tons of pages and that adds texture, the crinkliness to it. There's another tab. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. But I just love looking at it. And it's just, it's a, like a little surprise or a little adventure every time you turn a page. Travel is my therapy. And this is the next to last one. And this is quite sturdy. Oh, and there's more bits and bobs in there, more tags. And this is from France, guys. It came all the way halfway around the world, if not farther to get to me here in Hawaii. Oh, I just look at all of the things that come with. That is just so amazing to me. And then this is the final one. And more of that coffee stained paper. And that's glued right on. I'm intrigued by the, the hole punches in here. If, cause it's lined paper like you'd find here in the US, but I've never seen hole punches like that. So I don't know if that's how she hole punched it or if that's how paper is, or if that goes into like a binder system. Oh. So is it like that for all of them? All right, so she hand sews the signatures and then she glues them in here. Oh, 
guys, like I said, the <laughs> level of detail is phenomenal. And the craftsmanship, I am just loving, plus all the bits and bobs, because all the bits and bobs that you see in here and all of the other things, she had to have on hand, she had to see the vision. And this one definitely, um, you could do a lot more writing. I mean, can you imagine writing in that with a fountain pen? And I've got a bunch that I've borrowed from my brother. Oh, that, it just feels nice. And you could make this, once you take out all of the bits and bobs, store that in the ephemera pack, you could make this super chunky because it could just sit like that and be absolutely beautiful. Or you could just use this as a journal and just write in it. Wonder how many pages are per signature. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So if I were going to use this as a December daily, since it's November 17th, it's Tuesday, November 17th, it would take two of these unless I got really clever and did a journaling in here and then a journaling there, or maybe half a page. Because I think this would make a really interesting five-year December daily journal. So every year you get into one of these signatures and you fill it up for your December daily. And I could add a little bit of bits and bobs because I like the size of it now. Um, and then just do some journaling in here. That's different from the journaling that I'm already doing, but specifically for December, maybe I'll, I'll look up some prompts. So that's what I think I'll do in here. And I think over a five year period, because there are, yeah, five of those signatures, I think that'd be a great little thing to look back every year once you're doing it, but also at the end of the fifth year to see, well, how did this little, uh, journal stand up and you know what was I thinking three years ago five years ago this one here though honestly guys I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flip through I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I just like looking at it because <laughs> it's so pretty but I definitely will be using the ephemera um, packet that I purchased from her in some of the things that I'm going to be working on. And I definitely will be doing a pandemic introvert travel log for those who never leave where they live or something like that. I'll, I'll definitely think of something more clever. Celine, merci beaucoup for all of the beautiful work. Definitely check out her shop below. I ordered this in the beginning of November and it got to me today. And so shipping was really quick. I'd show you the envelope, but it has both of our address on there. Um, but I just, I love the packaging. I love all the bits and bobs. I love the attention to detail and I would highly recommend her shop. I am not sponsored or anything like that. I found her through another YouTuber and and I am so glad that I did. Just look at all my treasures. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.